Todd, what are we looking at right now? Computer buttons and blinky lights. But why are we looking at so many computer buttons and uh, blinky lights? It was just sort of a, you know, you go four years on something with, with a, a group of 100 people, and that's what we spend our entire days doing. Like, we live with this. And there isn't a single part of the game that we haven't debated and gone over, and how can we make it better, and what's right, and is, how can we put more and more and more and more into it? And just those pictures of those computer panels, they, they represent that for me pretty well. So you talk about building these worlds and building them from the ground up and trying to capture all those details. Now you're making a game that's coming out to the PS4, the Xbox One, and the latest PCs. What does having that extra horsepower working on current-gen consoles allow you to do, especially in terms of details, that you weren't able to do before? You know, most games today have really good graphics. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's pretty standard. But memory is important to us, how much memory it has. Is we can make a world that has more, not just more details, but more dynamic details that we can keep track of, or we can stream in and load quicker and... All of that suspends your disbelief that th this is a real world. So then when something crazy happens, you know, a death claw comes busting through, it's, it's that much more real. It just allows you to really be part of that world, right? Yeah, or you're, you know, you, you stumble into an old... Uh, we like to do a lot of environmental storytelling, so you stumble into a bedroom where maybe somebody lived. It's just like a little beats of, you, you know, your own private thinking in those moments. Todd, another thing you talked about is building the game on an upgraded version of the creation engine. You mentioned full physical base rendering and dynamic volumetric lighting. Now, I know what I saw. I saw the water looks beautiful, the world looks beautiful. And what does that mean to the gamer? To the gamer, it looks prettier. Um, so people like that. The, the volumetric lighting, you know, when the weather rolls in, that, that sense of haze isn't just a, a series of effects that are on the screen. They're actually tessellated, um, you know, polygonal volumetric lighting that is, is hazing the, the world. And that's it's really good for Fallout because we're doing a lot of things that, even though we have areas that load, we have a lot more things that don't load. So you're going to enter into like a destroyed house and then those dust and light fog shafts that are coming through, you know, various holes from where the sun is. It, it just creates an atmosphere that we haven't been able to do before. I mean, speaking of, uh, of living in this world, uh, one of the first things that I noticed that I think a lot of people noticed was how much more vivid the colors are, especially the blues of the sky. Yeah, and it was funny. I think we're so used to it because we've been working on the game for so long that when people said, oh my God, there's blue, and looking back at three, there is this sameness to the environment. If you're playing the game for an eight-hour stretch, it can be a little depressing. So our view was the world's already destroyed. You're going to get a lot of you know, grays and browns and dust. And uh, Isvan Pele, our, our lead artist on it, was you know, really into calling out things for your attention that had, had bits of color that we wanted to do anyway, so finding the right balance of that. The other thing that people need to know, we kind of hint, of it, hint at it in the trailer and the other footage, is that there is different weather. We actually have a part of the world we call the glowing sea, which is where the bomb falls that looks more like your classic Fallout 3 wasteland, but even more so. And then we have, we have a new weather system for this one so that the storms from the glowing sea, these radiation storms, can flare up and then blow through the world. And uh, when the lightning goes off, you get radiated. And, but that creates a very, a very post-apocalyptic look. And so having that, having that change while you're playing the game is really important to us. 